Hello, I'm Renee. I'm back here with Bonding with the Monster, aka Don't Open Your Eyes. I hide, hiding into the dark. But you might be different. I hope so. It might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way, you can help me. Can I? And we can both be fulfilled. How am I fulfilled uh, in that scenario? Just thinking about it, it makes me feel. Oh. Feel. Feel what? Nervous. Excited. Something. It. Something is good. I cannot describe it. Yeah. I am not good. With words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. <laughs> I get that. Thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. Yeah. To Too many to people. This being out of talk must be a challenge. Especially when you're wordless yourself. Yet, they did. Yes, Simply they did. Because they could. Yeah. It is weird to remember. Mm-hmm. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen, and I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. Yeah. So why is it? Mm -hmm. Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized, but me. Yeah. But I will. Mhm. Mm Soon. Soon. Once you open your eyes. I'm not gonna open my eyes. I'm not done with talking to you yet. <sighs> there it is again. Yeah, your heartbeat. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me, and you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Okay. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Okay. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours to let me hear what I am. Can I open my eyes? I don't want to, but at the same time I do. And to maybe even give me a name. Oh. That's good. But I don't know what. It's overwhelming sometimes, Surely I know. It would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey. Hey. What does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. I will. It's a cheerful smile. Yeah. Oh, great. That's okay. That may be so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. Yeah, it would. It has been so, so long. I can no longer remember where it all began. But who's to say it had a beginning? Perhaps it was always just going. Maybe the starting. Yeah. I was walking. Mm hmm. And for some reason, it was daytime. Is that strange? All right. I go on. Travel during the daytime. Ah, I get it. Only when the fear of being seen isn't there. Yeah. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's mm -hmm. strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city. Full of people, I couldn't see them, but I knew they were there, hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt, mm -hmm. completely motionless, completely silent. They were just laying in the roads, dirt. All right. Living in wait of their deaths. Oh. And what's more, none dared to look at me. 
Huh. Did they even know I was there? Probably not. Maybe they did not care. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me. Huh. Living in fear of what others might think. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. Yeah. Maybe one day it will find an end. It's my earliest memory. And my most joyful one. Yeah. No experience afterwards that made me want to smile more than that. Feeling kinship is a strong emotion. Feeling like you're not alone is so amazing. Smiling, then surely that's how it must be. Yeah. But tonight I'm not joyful. Because I haven't opened my eyes, I know. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Oh. I don't know. In reality, you're feeling anything but. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Have you? Yes. I remain silent. This expression. Is this my expression? Yes. Thank you. Thank you to you. You have truly helped me tonight. Have I? Is that step? You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you. All right. Your eyes. And he's gone. And I'm sad and alone. There's nothing there. Don't jump scare me. Alright. That was just eight minutes in. Load? I didn't make a save. I'm sad. I should have made a... Auto saves. Alright, um... It's an emotionless stare. I wanna go see what happens if I keep my eyes open. What does he look like when I keep my oh That doesn't sound great. Yes it is. Alright. Alright. No. no. I'm Let's sorry. See. You'll be gone if I open my eyes. I understand. No. It's fine. I wanted to open my eyes. You I did. Still help me by answering my questions. You'll be just gone. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Don't go. No. That is a lie. I do. I have. Oh Lord. Great. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Oh. Not even once. I'm sorry. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Not even once did you look at my face. You 
stayed there, acting as if you were asleep, feigning ignorance and not moving an inch, at times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. It wasn't. You haven't opened your mouth. How did we talk then? But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others oh. can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You aren't. Or, like me, we are the same. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too. Are a liar. I am. The type that shows one thing. And feels another. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far. Has been wrong. Has it? I am not what you said I am. Yeah. These eyes. These hands. They're mine. This expression. They aren't mine. I agree. Maybe they are yours. I know. But I do not care. Not anymore. I'm sorry. Open your eyes. Can I save the game? I didn't want to be judged. I'm sorry. I didn't something I'm not. And I perceived you as something that you're not. And that's all you did. I know. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember? I will That in this room, you know how everything looks. Mm -hmm. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. I can't, Open apparently. your eyes. I want to. Open your eyes. I wanna save my game. I wanna save my game. I want to save my game. Save. Return. Yes. You had your chance. Oh. It's not up to you. And you won't open your eyes. I will. Oh. Something coils around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. You killed me. Ah, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Did you pluck them out of my head? Tell me, my new friend. <laughs> what do you see? Nothing. I want to answer, but they grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is. Can I find that face? No. I close my eyes. Why did she close her eyes? He's gonna... Yes. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Am I not dead? Ow. Oh, I was looking for the second beat. There we go. Open, open, open. Oh no. You killed me. It seems I did it again. You've done this before? I'm not the only one. You can't see anymore, right? No. You can't talk anymore, right? No. You can't think anymore. No. This is farewell. Goodbye. Thank you for trying, friend. I did try. I know you were a liar. 
Thanks. I leave this piece of myself here with you. With peace? I must go. Yeah. I must look for the right person. Okay, now I'm sad. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. Oh. Well, now I'm sad. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. I wanna try out a couple things out. It's getting late, my eye feel... Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers sooner towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I had known since I... I would know. Since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absent-mindedly but always. I don't know why. I just... Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings, to the smallest detail. But tonight is rest too different. The hallway looks like it stretches into a nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room. There's a bed. In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room. There are pictures on my no, wall. Framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I would do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. In th this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I really should go to sleep. It's just us. My eyes are closed, but I didn't open them. Right, there's no way someone could be there. Hey. Hey. Open your eyes. Will you, uh, do I open my eyes? Save. Yes. Yes. I open my eyes. There's nothing there. All right. Do you remember that? If I... Wait, give me a couple seconds. So, I found out a couple of things. Um, there is no other ending. I'm glad I looked that up. I would have wanted to search this game for hours on end just to figure out that there's no other ending but I do want to see what the other dialogue options get me Hi! No Open your eyes Look at me 
Hi. Why won't you look at me? I kinda wanna. Where are your manners? I lost them. My cat wants to sleep in my lap. If a stranger asks for help, is it right as that? No. How it is. Mm -hmm. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. Where would you that be if not here? You, so you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. So I might hide the moment you do. Yeah. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. You listen. With those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Like I could almost grab them. Put my fingers around them. If I do, if you scream, will I hear your voice? It was a joke. Was it? I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared. Hey. Hey. How do you think my eyes, when our cases finally meet? What will you find? Answer me. Do I have a lab cat? I have a lab cat. They look lost. They do. Fall asleep. Way, nothing will slip away. Are we gonna fall asleep? No matter where it goes. No. no, matter, no, matter, no matter. You know what? I wanna see the other dialogue options. Have you, have you, have you, these are these my eyes. Yes. No, so I won't open my eyes. Shots, uh, it's the night. I'm just People kind of tired. Now. The hands are small. They look inco incomplete. Very loud. But sometimes I find something else. What do you like find? Engulfed in a raging fire. Oh, that's not a good I thing. Think of the screams in the distance, or the suffering and oh. death and charm and wonder. How does that feel? So I put my hands to the fire. Don't. It hurts, but I tolerate it and keep them there. 
Yeah. For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates, and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible, but intoxicating feeling. I seek such extreme sensations. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it, other times, the fangs of a beast. Fangs of a beast? Most times, however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. And I will leave my hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? You're so cute. What you thinking? No. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me times of great fun. Oh no. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. No. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always painful. Yeah. I'd rather they weren't. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. Have you ever placed yourself in arm's way? Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. Have you? I don't know, that doesn't seem right. It's not my pain. I remain silent. Sand. Are these? No. No. But I'm gonna leave this episode here anyway. With this pleasant note, I'm just too distracted. Hey, this was a good game. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just say yes. It's a good answer. Let's open our eyes. I opened my eyes. He's gone. They're gone. There's nothing there. And with that note, I'm gonna end this episode. I liked it a lot. I was hoping for more of it too, but looks like there isn't any. But I hope you liked it. Subscribe, like, comment. You know the drill. Um, then you can, you know, enjoy your day. And bye! My brain stopped working.